Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader Mary Trimble and I'm here with your readings for May the 13th through May the 19th. I'm going to apologize in advance for coughing and spluttering if I do. I've been, um, I would say under the weather but a bit worse than that. I've been under the blankets. <coughs> so, but I'm determined to get through this. Okay, so um, guys, if you're new, welcome. I'm so happy that you're um, that you've stopped by, and I really hope you enjoy these readings, and that you'll come back. And if you are returning, thank you. I really appreciate your loyalty and support of my channel. Now, these are general readings, guys. So please don't assume everything that I say in every reading pertains to you. Um, just if it resonates with you, you know, run with it, and if it doesn't, let it go. Um, and come back, maybe it'll make sense to you after the week is over. I do get feedback sometimes like that. Now, uh, what else? I am doing a workshop and I've already got a couple of people on, uh, on the waiting list. Um, I'm, I need at least six participants to actually do this workshop and it is, um, you can go to my website and find out a little bit more, but it is, uh, meet your spirit guide. So it's a four week uh, workshop. It's four hours. So it'll be one hour a week. It'll be interactive. And so it should be fun. So I hope you guys will consider that. Now, as I said before, these are general readings. So um, if you would like a personal in-depth reading, please click on this link here. And another way to support my channel is through Patreon. And that link is right here too. Um, you can go to my Patreon page and make one donation, um, which is, you know, no donation is too small. Um, or you can do a monthly one for a uh, dollar a month, as little as a dollar a month and as much as you want. There's different uh, uh, reward tiers and you can check it out anyway. I post things on there that I don't post anywhere else. Um, now, uh, well, and you know, of course, if you don't just please, you know, like, share and comment. Um, and that's all, that's a way of supporting me too. Now, um, these are in three sections. I now do a general ast astrology reading, uh, and that goes on the beginning of every reading and I'll have the skip times in the show more section below. These are for your sun, moon and rising and those, uh, so all the skip times for everything will be below, will be below. There'll be a, uh, the intro skip time, the astrology skip time, and you can go straight to the tarot card readings if you want. Um, so let's go to your reading, shall we? Hi, welcome to your astrology section of the reading and bear with me because my mind is mind is a little um, fuzzy, not a little, a lot. It feels like there's a basketball inside my head anyway. Um, so this week there is a lot going on astrologically guys. Wednesday is a huge day. We have Venus moving into Taurus. Um, and Venus is at home in Taurus. Venus rules Taurus. It's the planet that rules Taurus. It's very tactile. Um, it's very uh, demonstrative. It's very romantic um, and very intimate. And Taurus is an earth sign and it's about banking and money and security and resources. And Venus is about finance, beauty, nature, music, art, fashion, and relationships. Now, um, this would be a really good time to go out and really uh, be in nature. Even if it's at a park in the middle of the city, you know. Uh, I mean, there are beautiful places. Appreciate it. Be in it. Just, you know, be one with nature. This is all about... Uh, You'll feel grounded and you'll feel much calmer being in nature. Uh, now, this is a time of closeness, showing love and expressing it freely. Ask yourself, are you coming from a place of love? Check in with yourself a couple of times each day. Now, Venus is joining the Sun, Mercury and Uranus. Um, now that, that's four planets in Taurus, right? So look at your needs 
in your relationship? Where, what, what, what is lacking in your relationship? What do you need from your relationship? Um, take a look at your finances or your quality of life on the whole. Take time for yourself to pamper yourself, to make yourself feel alive and, and worthy and abundant. And what, you know, what, ask yourself what needs to change here? Chances are you've been working on changing something for a while. Um, <clears throat> so this could come to a completion because full moons, or oh, I haven't got to the full moon part. I'm going way ahead of myself. See, I told you my head's fuzzy. Anyway, let's talk about later that day on Wednesday. The same day Mars moves into Cancer. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> this is about your home. It's about protection and action. It's about your parents and roots. Mars in Cancer internalizes kind of feelings and it's, it's more gentle. It's less, you know, uh, aggressive in Cancer. And Cancer is also a cardinal sign and femininity. There's a lot, look, Venus is feminine, Taurus is a feminine sign, you know, Mars in Cancer is kind of that fem feminine energy. There's a lot of feminine energy this week. So, <clears throat> Cancer is the cardinal sign, a feminine sign, and Mars is the soldier. How can you, uh, how can you secure and protect your home? What action can you take? Do you need to renovate or spruce it up or organize your home? It's a good time to kind of do some organization. Now, Saturday, we have the full moon in Scorpio. I put a, I put a, blo a blog post up. If you go to my website, you can see it. And also, guys, I have to mention... I have a Facebook group now for Live in the Solution. I'll put that link before so we can you can post things, we can discuss things. It's about astrology, it's about life, it's about the solution. So we're going to if you're going to share, share something solution oriented or you know just your opinion on whatever. Now, Scorpio is intense, right? It's one of the most intense signs in the zodiac. It's very deep. It's the detective. It's deeply emotional. Scorpio is in the, it is the eighth house, right? Scorpio represents the eighth house. The house of transformation, of sexuality, death and rebirth and purification. It's about getting in touch with what needs to change, what needs to be dealt with. The moon will shed a light on that which needs purification. So think of the phoenix and how it rises from the ashes, purified and transformed into this beautiful bird. <clears throat> this is about finding your power. It's about found, finding the power within. It's about owning it. It's about standing in it. It's about being confident of your power. Now, the sun is opposite because full moons are always opposite. It's the sun shining on the moon, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the sun is in the opposite, right opposite. It's in Taurus. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. This is feminine, it's a feminine earth sign. And it's shining on the rippling sea and deep dark water of the feminine Scorpio. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is, as I said before, it's a lot of feminine energy. It's like the high priestess energy, intuitive and psychic, knowledgeable. And secretive, under wraps sometimes, right? We, but things are going to come to the surface because the full moon sheds a light in the shadows, right? 
Taurus and Scorpio are fixed signs and fixed signs are kind of immovable. It's hard to change someone's mind once they've made it up, you know, in this, in this energy. So it's really good to look at where you're fixed in your life. You know, it's, can you transfer, tra transform that idea, that opinion that you have? Practice being open and considering others' point of view and imagine yourself in their shoes and how they will feel, how they feel um, with their set of circumstances. Um, this is the practice of empathy. And that's it for the astrology section of your reading. Let's go to your card, shall we? Hello, Libra, and welcome to your reading your tarot card section of your reading for May the 13th through May the 19th. I've already shuffled these off screen, so let's get right to it. Three cards for Libra, please, for this coming week. What wonderful gifts, blessings, and guidance can you... Oh, one more. There's lots of crossover, darling. Lots of crossover here. One more card for Libra, please. One more card for Libra. Okay, now we're going to do the clarifying cards. Please clarify that. There we are. Please clarify the... Oh, there it is. And please clarify the... There it is. Okay. Look at your cards. Okay, Libra, the first card out for you is the Two of Cups, also known as the Lover's Card. And then you have the Four of Pentacles holding on, uh, I mean, clarifying it. And then you have the Eight of Wands, and then you have the Seven of Pentacles, clarifying the Eight of Wands. And you've got the Three of Swords, clarifying that you've got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. <coughs> sorry okay the first card out for you is the two of cups and the two of cups is like the lover's card so this is about look they reflect themselves in each other this is about treating people the way you want to be treated it's about seeing yourself in everybody <coughs> it's what i was saying in the in the astrological reading it's putting yourself in somebody else's shoes you know I feel that you're holding on to something. So there's a, a you're in a relationship. Some of you are in a relationship, Libra. This could be a friendship, but it's most likely a lover for most of you. And this is about you've, you're holding on to some emotional baggage. It's about releasing that. And for some of you, what I'm just getting is you're holding on to a relationship that you perhaps shouldn't hold on to, that you're trying to hang on. Um, and it's... It's time to release it. You're holding on to a relationship that's not working. That's exactly what I'm getting. Uh, look, this is blocking you from really being happy and for li and from living your life totally fulfilled. You're hanging on, to, you know, I always say you're hanging on to the crumbs. <clears throat> I say to my clients, you're over here picking up the crumbs. You're missing that great big piece of cake. Step away from the crumbs, Libra. <laughs> Get that big piece of cake, darling. You deserve it. Forget about those grotty old crumbs over there in the corner. Um, the next card is the Eight of Wands. This is passion. This is a lot of opportunities. Things are going to move really fast, right? Um, now, it's moving really fast, and what you're being asked to do is to really look at the books. You've, got to, you've been putting a lot of effort into something, and are you getting the results back for the effort that you've put in? You've really got to weigh the pros and cons. And this could be about your relationship, too. Um, you've got to... Have you been putting more into it than you've been getting back? Does this person really love you? You've got to ask that. You've got to do a pros and cons list. It's like telling you to really look at what you're doing, you know. And you've got, you know, you've got the three of swords, darling. This I can't, it's pain. The three of swords is an old, old pain that people in our lives kick up every now and again. 
So I have a feeling that you you're kind of heartbroken over someone um, because you're hanging on to. Now this could be that you're hanging on to something um, from the past in the relationship that you're in now that's destroying it. Um, that's not helping it, or you're really holding on to a relationship that you need to release. The only way to cure this pain is to bring it in, feel it, cry it out, you know, let that inner child, release that inner child from the pain, you know, release yourself from the pain. This can be released. And look, Clarifying is the Ten of Pentacles, so I feel that this is the time to release it, and you are, you, you're really going to be successful from releasing this. And this relationship needs to go. It's going to benefit you so much more when it goes. You got to release it. You got to let it go. Maybe it's a, a relationship that's ended, and you're just longing for it to come back. But in doing that, you're distracted, and you're missing. You know, you're missing the pot of gold. That's what you're missing, something really big. It's, listen, drop it like a hot potato. It didn't work. Move on. Get that big piece of cake, darling. Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, and comment. I answer every comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I love you all, and I'll see you next week.